Good morning. How are we doing with the heart and head thing? I was just sitting here um, trying to untangle my hair and wondering what will I write about? What will I speak about? Things went through my head. But, uh, you know, I'm not given to know until I push record or until I've got the word processor open and my hands on the keyboard. I just don't know. So that's how it is, living from heart. Oh, I could take some of the things that went through my head and I could try to develop them. And uh, that would probably be okay. This body's got a lot of learning behind it, but so do you. Um, and and I, I just didn't find salvation there, if you will. That's a funny word, salvation. It's got salve in it. That's interesting. Uh, I just, I didn't, I, I worked hard. I worked so very hard. Uh, Mentally, I, I put the energy of this heart into the mind, into pursuing that path. And it was, it was my joy and it was my love for many long years. Uh, the counselors had a heck of a hard time in convincing me to quit just taking whatever I wanted to take and look at the degree programs, you know, and try to put something together to get a degree. And I said, degree, that's a piece of paper. What do I want with that? What do I care? Uh, so I have a lot of hours that don't fit in anywhere. And that's how the very first degree I ever got. It's just an associate's degree. It's just a two-year degree. But uh, it is in a discipline called <clears throat> general studies. <laughs> oh, this heart just loved everything. I remember the day I was, uh, I was intrigued by... A, a, a wide variety across the board of, of different subjects and topics and things. I always loved uh, rocks and geology and that kind of thing. I even dabbled in that. Uh, but I remember the day I was looking into astrology many years ago and palmistry. And I, and I wondered about these because although there are the uh, bits of nonsense that are put forward as astrology and palmistry. Somebody hangs a sign out, you know, and, and says, come in, let me read for you. There's also a sacred history to it. And uh, if you trace it back far enough, I just felt there was something there. So I was in the library and, and studying it. And I remember reading a big tome on astrology and I got to the part where it said you could take one chart, one horoscope, and you could legitimately, reasonably spend the rest of your life studying it, explicating it, and never get it all done. And, and that was the proverbial ton of bricks. I mean, that took me aback. And I remember sitting there and thinking, it just... I was being thought at that time. I wasn't doing the thinking. What came to me was, this is one human life. What do you want to spend it doing? Do you have time for this? You know, for the focus that this would take, that this would demand. And so I, I closed the books up and I decided, no. You know, uh, I needed more focus in my life. And so... Uh, Three more degrees later, it took a long time, stubborn, hard-headed, uh, I had put everything I had into it, and that's considerable. Any one of us marshals considerable forces together in our beingness, and uh, I just found that it wasn't there. Along the way, one of the things that I observed was that on the university and college campuses, 
the people that lived in that life, totally immersed within it, they were living in an artificial world that had artificial standards and rules and just the whole consciousness of it. And it wasn't bright enough for me. There was light. I mean, there's a lot of good and beautiful things that come from it. And I am in no way condemning learning education and, and all of that. Uh, but it wasn't enough for me. Uh, my life plan. Uh, I just, I rejected it. Uh, the one thing that I can do well, folks, is learn. <laughs> okay, I'm good at that. Uh, I always got excellent grades and honors. I was, I was never the, the 4.0 student. Uh, I'd like to say I was a little more balanced than that, but you know, that just is what it is. I was about a 3.8, 3.7, and uh, had great love and joy in it. But it, it didn't reach high enough for me. The people were afraid, it seemed to me, to go off and really explore. Uh, they, they had artificial boundaries that I just didn't accept, I wouldn't accept. And so I moved on from that. And uh, all of that is the mental body. That's the mind. And it's blessed and it's beautiful. And it brings great joy, blessing, and benefits to the earth and to her people. Like anything else, it can be misused. Uh, the mind is very powerful. And uh, what comes from it can be misused. Uh, we've got a culture of misuse uh, that's rampant today. Uh, the, the educational scientific funding is from big pharma and corporations. Uh, there's an agenda behind it, and that's the misuse of the mind. The research is not pure. It's difficult to find pure research. I recommend uh, HeartMath, H-E-A-R-T-M-A-T-H. -E uh, they've got several sites, and they're the ones behind the Global Coherence Project, where they are actually measuring the effect of human consciousness um, and group prayers and things on the earth, on the magnetic field. They've got some very expensive magnetometer type things uh, buried here and there, or plant, whatever they do, I don't know. Uh, Global Coherence Initiative, I think. Anyway, you can Google it. So uh, there are grand and wonderful things uh, that can come out of academia. But to me, it took me so far and no farther. And this heart is like a rocket ship. I mean, it's, it's got tremendous force and power to go where it's going. And uh, maybe the guidance system's a little off now and then. But uh, it took me away from that path. And so I know there's some confusion about uh, people